hard, but you have Carrier on Kench as well. Yeah. Really tough ask. And I think a huge of this, a man of this relies on Peanut and Jovi, like trying to play through that strong yep. mid jungle, see if they can get onto Faker in the early stages, and then lean that aggression to Bonnie, especially when you hit level six with the Rakan, like that dive potential in those early stages where you can even charm up both the time. Can't exist anymore. Uh, it's just in the bottom lane now. Uh, there's a mini one. It's a, it's a small little lane towards this brush, as we can see. Q comes through here as owner is just clearing out that Krug camp. Gumiushi does get that shove towards this turret. And let's see whether it's going to work out. Four versus three for T1. Zayas going to try and pick up turret aggro. Delight going to knock him up into the air. And it is going to be first blood going over to Pays. A one for one so far. And now Zayas' zombie mode is almost going to take down the Aphelios. He does fall. And that is a kill for Gumiushi once again. T1, one up in the trade. It's a disaster for Genji. The fact that you end up losing both. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Why haven't they put us on broadcast <laughs> together before? His owner's coming in once again. Pays trying to do what he can, but he gets pushed back into the open arms of T1. And once again, he will go down. Kumiushi gets his second. Yeah, Pays in the clouds as well. It appears as he goes. Oh, no. He's coming in. Of course, Doran doesn't have Smite available. Peanut is making his way over, though, as Doran is going to try and turn it on to Oni here. Two versus two for now, but Fake is moving up. Chovy following him forward. Small 2v3 here as Doran's getting taken down so low. No miss to put down, no options, and Ona is going to take him out. They'll take a Rift Herald as well, and T1 off to a great... LCK, this was basically what happened. T1 put an incredible amount of focus towards oh. Pace. Yeah, Faker moving very, very quickly towards this Gwen, who wanted to be immune, but she is most certainly not. And Faker is going to be able to pick that one up. Cool. For a late game, should be Gen.G favored with the fact that this Gwen in a side lane is going to be so difficult to deal with. Gen.G looking for an opportunity now. Teleport to the back of the pit here as the Poppycopter is getting channeled. It's going to miss though, and this is going to be an honest 5v5. Stolen away by Peanut. They collect the first Mountain Drake. Moonlight Vigil does connect. Chovy looking for an opportunity, but already Peanut's being taken down. The Devour utilized perfectly. Guma grabs another kill for him. But TP now. Yeah, and Infinity Edge is now done as, okay, Chovy could be in trouble. Does have to flash away from the train, but there are a lot of different problems for him to deal with. He gets knocked up, smacked into the wall, and Faker is going to be able to lock down the kill on his opposite number. T1 just catching Chovy in a side lane. As Peanut is still there, they're going to look for a turn as Chovy has teleport available. Ten seconds on him coming back into this fight. T1, they know it. They want to try and get this turn soon, but the knock-up on Dezaeus, he's taking so much damage here from Genji, oh. but it's a phenomenal ult from Ona, and they will secure the Baron. This guy's Poppy has been... Yeah, well, Charm is going to connect there on Dezaeus, but he walks the wrong way. We're going to get a knock-up onto Ona, who does have the Steadfast Presence available. Immediate teleport in response, though, as T1 Looking to try and lock down Doran and Delight here. The mist comes through, but Faker is not going to be deterred by that one. He tries to dash his way out, but he gets stunned into the wall. Super Mega <laughs> Deathrock, it's going to pick up the kill. Gumiushi grabs yet another one as Pays. He's trying to walk this one out. Does have to use the Kainut down excruciatingly low. And Gen.G, yeah, they don't lose anyone, but they will lose the majority of their base. I mean, that's the top lane tower now gone. Inhibitor follow and with minions streaming in, T1 are so strong. Gumayushi, it's one of the pop shots. Yeah, no, it is uh, so dangerous. This Storm Razor Jinx doing so much work here as they dive forward. Ona is exceptionally low. He does eventually go down, but it's in trade for the Rakan Wait. so far. They're looking for another one. Faker getting taken down low. Pace still alive, still at full health. As Zayas yes, is going to be his first target. The Devourer does come forward. Pace, is he going to look for it? Is he going to look? for the ultimate kill. No, he's not going to do it. Not going to go for it. Still had his flash available, but no Moonlight Vigil, and did not want to move too far forward. That's no joke. NG as they try and go for this little steal. Mountain Soul, devastating for Genji if it does come forward. Doran gets over the wall, puts down the mist as Ona jumps inside with him. Genji gonna have to look for a way to try and start this fight now, but immediately Chovy is going to get rocketed out of this fight. Speaking of rockets, that one's gonna go wide, but T1 have gotten their health bars low enough as it is going to be the Mountain Soul secured. Peanut is going to get taken down a little bit late on the steal attempt. And now Battle Dance is going to get Delight to relative safety, but I don't know how safe they are as the grand exit here going to be utilized by the Rakan. But Pays, that's the wrong direction. They may have juked them for the moment as they look for the backs, but uh, yeah, not going to get fooled by that one. But still, Owner is going to take a lot of damage and just goes down. Okay, they can just look for it one more time. Back. 
Uh, yeah, they're gonna have to try and get back because instead T1 are just gonna look to win the game. Um, the old uh, owner for Nexus Trade gonna work out here as Pace. Gonna get yet another kill. They're gonna start the back yet again. Kumuchi, you need to hit this Nexus as they are going to spawn relatively soon. But no, he was under no real pressure. He just needs to turn...